Okay, so let's move into general business. 3.1, resolve Tala Swan over sign and approve and growth, renewal, and opportunities for municipalities grant applications as per attached to Schedule A and B. Moved by Councilor Bobby, seconded by Councilor Powell. Discussion? Councilor Medlin. Uh, the grant for the arena. I just have some current concerns regarding some of the language use. Um, every time it seems to reference the word pool, to me it's misleading because it keeps referencing pool, but it doesn't specify that the pool is an entirely separate structure that already exists. So to me, there's the implication that there's going to be a pool included in this new structure, which is not the case. And the other version of pool is in reference to our CAO's name, which since we know he will not be with us as of January 24th, I think this should maybe be modified to just identify the position, not the name of the person. That's, that's correct. I did remove my name from it. Uh, so I've, I've, I've got to ask our CFO, our executive assistant, if they're willing to put their name on it. If they're not, Clayton is, but just looking to find that willing participant. But the, it should be the person who is going to be contacted by the claims officer and has the authority to, in the portal, all of it, so that person should have full knowledge of the project. So, what about the comments? Um, I actually, part of the process of writing this thing, not entirely, um, I don't know the, um, the thoughts on the um, implications as mentioned um, as far as a pool. Um, the plan is to build this, prop, this building, um, to my understanding, at the site where the pool, the wellness center is, and that will be a facility um, that will include a pool. Under project beneficiaries, where it speaks to the SVRF, will feature the following amenities to ensure that there is something at the facility for everyone. And it states number three is a walking track and pool for seniors, but the pool is not within the structure that's being built. And it's mentioned this way three or four times at least throughout the document, in which it refers to the pool and walking track collectively, which to me implies they're all going to be under the same roof, but they're not. Okay. Well, we can have the committee um, uh, look at that, I guess, if Clayton and, uh, and the rest of the committee can look at that and maybe clean that up. Um, this resolution is to just uh, approve the process to be able to apply for the grant. Yeah, yeah, I think the what they're trying to say is this is going to be a massive rec facility and there is an intention to have it all under the same roof, right? So if this rink gets built, we get a facility with a pool, walking track, rink, sauna, all of it. So, I guess that's trying to answer what they're trying to say, but if, if you want to take it back to the committee to redo, that's what we do. Go ahead. Um, maybe we just send it back to Clayton just to uh, rework those few sections to say to be attached to the existing uh, credit union aquatic center. So that's part of the plan is to have the, the joint, the, those buildings join. To just clarify that the aquatic center is currently existing and that the, the plan is to join. Um, that we should, well, yeah, yes. I think it's probably just some of the wording that's uh, in there that uh, just needs to be clarified that it's not actually a swimming pool that's inside the, uh, the uh, skating rink. Okay, and for the discussion, Council Member. And then also just to, uh, there's one reference to, I'm trying to see if there's a page number here, 
but it references swimming, but swimming won't be an activity under the new structure. It's an already existing activity within the pool structure. Again, I think that that's probably, again, what their, their, their plan was to make that some, uh, to point out that it's going to be a facility, as well, all one facility, that will provide uh, skating and swimming uh, uh, programs within that whole facility. Go ahead. The section that I'm looking at says, since I can't find a page number, uh, since, a re since 2022, the support has only been increasing due to the failure of the Swan River Centennial Arena and the desire to have new community facility with additional programming for swimming is the first item listed, which will not occur within this new structure, running, sports, and cultural spaces. So again, I feel it's a little bit misleading since the swimming pool is not actually part of the build in which we're seeking a grant for. Yeah, and like I said, the, the committee can look at that and clean that up and, and, and make sure that it's clear as far as it's going to be a building uh, that will be attached to another facility that will offer these programs uh, under one uh, property or one roof. Okay. Anything further? You took votes from that there? Yeah. Uh, Who's the sister? Uh, she's not here because she was part of the writing on this too. So, all right. Any further discussion? Okay. Oh, uh, Councilor Powell, did you have something? Uh, yeah, she should be. She should be right here. She got tied up to something, so she should be right there. Okay. All right. For the discussion. All in favor? Opposed? It's carried. Resolved that pursuant to section, sections 1523 of the Municipal Act, Council will go into committee and close the meeting to the public. Items will be discussed this on human resources. Uh, moved by Councilor Bobbick, seconded by Councilor Powell. All in favor? It's carried. Red camera. So I have to excuse seeing CAA pool. Cal meeting cameras. Okay, it started. Where does it usually go? Yes. There's all the special meeting council meeting now adjourned at 6.47 p.m. Moved by Councilor Boychuk, seconded by Councilor Midwood. All in favor? It's carried.